What's going on, DJ Talk family? First of all, good morning to you all. How you all doing today? First of all, welcome to the 49th episode of DJ Talk. Before we get started, I would like to say not only a not only say good morning to you all, but hello to everyone and hope that everyone is doing great. Not good, but doing great. Even for the most that are not doing good, then all I can say is don't worry. Just keep your head up. Things are going to be better every day as time goes by. Because every day is time to be great. So we got to keep that in mind. So keep that in mind. Every day is day to be great. So, so that's it right there. So, if you're new to this channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications and many more to come. And if you guys haven't heard the last episode, it was the most positive episodes that I've ever done. Especially this one, the last one I did, you know, the the positivity, you know, having a change, you know, changing the whole thing, you know, like changing the um the positive, like changing and putting everything in order, like putting changing the the positives and changing the um the narr the narrative, if we could say it like that, you know, making it more positive than ever. So if you haven't heard the last episode, it was one of the most positive episodes that's ever been done ever so make sure you guys go check that out so without any further ado let's get right to it in today's episode we are going to be talking about how to elevate yourself to the higher level so um what does it mean to elevate yourself to the higher level and you know what i'm glad you asked that question because it means to raise something up to a higher level, position, or state, to lift up and make higher. There are multiple steps on how to elevate yourself to a higher level. You know what? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about that. You know what? I'm not just. I'm not just learn. I'm not. I'm not just saying. You know what? You're not the only ones that's learning. I'm also learning too of how to get to the higher level. You know what? We're gonna learn it together. We're going to talk about it together. So we're going to start it off with number one, no pain, no gain. Two big words right there. Our identities are built around who we are. And who we are is largely constructed around what we do with our lives. If we're not willing to sacrifice, we must question how deeply we desire to succeed. There is a cost that comes around with the pursuit of success. To elevate our game, we will have to sacrifice leisure's activities, lazy days, time, even relationships to get to where we need to go. Elevating to the next level, our next level is all the action, late nights. The research, making sure we prepare the stress and worry, the personal growth, and the achievement of one small goal at a time. If we want results, the pain will be more than worth it. Bottom line, we must be in it to win it. Number two, keep the faith. I guess you heard that old saying goes, and I guess you hear this before. Keep the faith, man. <laughs> Anyhow, to elevate our game, we must always hold a vision of the next steps in our process. The vision we hold is the picture of success. We chase, we drive, we dig, we grind, and then we let go. And we have faith as we witness how the results of our actions land. Every single day, our eyes open in the morning. We must make sure we are clear about what we want. We each have control over 
how hard and how smart we work. The rest comes down to having the faith that our effort will pay off in the ways we want. The large majority of successful people work from faith. Faith is faith is the energy that funds beliefs. Without beliefs, success isn't a possibility. Number three, pa practice patience. If we don't master having patience, we will never master success. To elevate our game, we must learn not to allow our more reactive, frustrated, fearful, or impatient emotions to get in our way. We must use our faith to bring us patience along with, you know, employing positive self-talk and training ourselves to remain flexible and open to whatever co results come. We must hold the attitude that we cannot lose. We can only learn if we work hard enough and know we're all we're doing all we can. Waiting isn't quite as challenging when we're patient. When we're patient, we give our success the room it needs to breathe, mature, grow, and manifest. Number four, show up. When it comes to success, showing up is half the battle. Many people think about succeeding. Think about losing weight, about clearing the clutter, making more money, and they think about it a lot. Thinking about success will not bring success. To elevate our game, we must back our thinking with the necessary effort and action to move on achieving our new goal. We must show up and show out or show out. If we start, we must finish. It's part of the grind. If we're in the game, we have nothing to lose by giving all we got. Number five, run your own race. To get to our next level, we must focus on our own race. We must not succeed for anyone but ourselves. We must not pursue success to show up, to show other people up, to get revenge, or to take someone down that we fear is better. The reason racehorses from, have blinders on their eyes so they don't get distracted by the other horses when they're racing. The blinders do not allow the horses to see anything but what is in front of them. It forces the horses, the horse to stay focused on their own race. We must do the same thing. We, mu we must each focus on our own finish line. And that's true, 100%. Number six, you must believe. Excuse me. The more we push ourselves beyond our perceived limits, the more we expand our belief in ourselves. This is exactly how we elevate to the next level. If we see a door that has a sign that says limit fear i can't it's not impossible or who are you kidding on it we must take it upon ourselves to push through every single one of those doors the majority of the time we will find that signs on those doors where lies We've been telling ourselves when we walk through them and achieve the impossible, we build our character and greatly increase the confidence we have in ourselves. The more confident we are, the more we elevate our game. 
That's what we all want to do. And I'll repeat it again to the people in the back. The more confident we are, the more we elevate our game. Number seven, be a team player. One of the most important ways to include one of the, I'm sorry, beg your pardon, to ele- one of the most important ways to uh, elevate our game is to be inclusive. Success is a team sport. If we are selfish and we try and hard or hide our success, I hate to break it to you, but we won't get nearly as far as we want when when we choose to include others in our achieving our goals. If it's teamwork, that makes the dream work. When we are on a mission and we see anyone on our team wearing thin, we must partner up and bring them along and expect the same in return. And this is a big part right here. And this is and everyone, I hope everyone listens to this part because this is gonna be this is gonna hit hard on all of us. At the end of the day, we must drop our egos and ask for help whenever necessary. We are so we are much more resilient when we have a community of support to turn to. And last but not least, number eight, be proud of yourself. The precious gift we give ourselves when trying to elevate our career to the next level is to take pride in who are and in what we're trying to achieve. We must be proud of our efforts, proud of our level of commitment, proud of our desire to make a difference. Beg your pardon, I'm sorry. We want to make a difference. The journey to success is no fun if we cannot take the immense joy in our own personal growth and development along the way. We must take moments to pat ourselves and our team player and team members on the back. Being proud of ourselves and others increases moral and motivation. When we see that we are doing is having a significant impact on those we serve. We must allow this to touch our hearts and keep us inspired to continue to do more, not just for in as not just for one as an individual, but for more for others. Because we want to keep growing in a great way. Excuse the background. Um so you see, if we can learn to work together. We can elevate ourselves to the higher level. And we will be saying right now, you know what? I love, sorry, I love this feeling. I love the fact that we are working together without limitations. And if we can shed the last limitations and throw it in the river, We have just eliminated our problems. I had a question for you guys. Don't you love to hear that? Isn't that a great feeling? And don't you feel better about being at a higher level? Because if you do, you are in the right place at the right time. So, let's learn together. So let's learn how to stay elevated and learn to be patient when it comes to to it because it's part of reaching 
to the top. Not only just that, but it's part of reaching to the top of the mountain. That's what we all want to do. We want to reach that mountain. We want to reach the top goal. We want to achieve our goals. We want to become winners. When I'm that's just saying it to be a winner this year, but we all want to be winners every year of our lives. And that's what we all want for ourselves. So before I wrap this episode up, I would like to leave you guys with this. Keep going. Just keep going. And once you get there, under any no circumstances, do not stop. Or don't you stop. Don't turn around. After that, just keep going. It's your time now. It's your time to shine. So thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you for the love and support. And stay tuned for the next episode of DJ Talk. Stay positive and keep going. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.